morning, it's the 2nd of January. Education is freedom. What are the fruit of these trainings? Only the most beautiful and proper harvest of the truly educated. Tranquility, fearlessness and freedom. We should not trust the ones who say that only the free can be educated, but rather the lovers of wisdom who say that the educated are free. Epictetus from The Daily Stoic by Ryan Holiday. And so, yeah, let's get our head round of what Epictetus is reminding us today. We should not trust upon to say that freedom, only the free can be educated, but rather the education, the educated are free. It's, it's not in, it's, only the free can, cannot be educated, no, only the free cannot be educated. Only the free can be educated. But rather, the educated are free. So it's changing it, changing it around. Only the free can be educated. Rather, the educated are free. So now I've got my head around it. He's saying that the education comes before freedom. I think what he's saying there that. If you're not self-aware, if you're not educated, you cannot be free. Only the educated are free. So it's, um, and that comes from wisdom, from the philosophers, from philosophy. I don't think it's going to come from social uh, binge watching on Netflix or TV are mindless movies not sure if it's going to come from their freedom but yeah possibly it could come from uh, you know meditating on actually who you are working out yourself and um, yeah because if you if you're not educated on yourself then how can you be educated on everything that's around you you come first. You have to come first. And once you, once you start learning about yourself, about your perceptions, your judgments, what you enjoy, what you don't enjoy, who you like to be with, what you like to do, what food you like, what food you don't like, who you like to talk to, who you don't like to talk to. So once you ask those big questions, then to differentiate and then choose from there. Make the simple choices. Yeah, it's like it's quite life can be quite simple if we work it out if we work it out ourselves. I think when we when it gets confusing and complex then hard work is when we don't know what we want. We don't know who we are. And so then it's um, we, we try and work out life through our senses and what other people are doing, and try to guess and building our own identity on what people think of us, what people are saying to us, because yeah, we're not clear and we're not educated on ourselves. So that comes. Yeah, that comes with silence and reflection, starting every day, taking time with yourself, giving yourself love, detaching from the externals, 
well, knowing knowing what you control, what knowing what you, as I said yesterday, it's knowing what you do control, what you don't control. You got to work it out first before you can make the proper choices, and that that comes with wisdom. It's unlearning what you've learned. It's rewiring the brain and. It's worth thinking about, as the, the book says, when you're, you know, having a snack, watching a, a watching TV, instead of working on yourself, instead of doing something that's going to move you forwards, like reading a book, going for a run, going for a walk, being kind to someone. Um, yeah, sharing your goodwill, and yeah, it's, it's just being aware of what you're doing um, as much as, as much as possible, and just know, as it Peter says, the educated are free. It's not the free. It's not just for people. Who are free, and yeah, maybe it's a social belief that you know. With my journey, I went to school and I didn't go to university. I, I tell myself I wasn't good enough. You know, school tell you, you know you need certain certain amount of grades to you know, go to university, go in that course, um, and. You can get that belief that, oh, you can get conditioned to believe that, oh, because I'm, I mustn't be good enough then, I mustn't be good enough to be educated because, you know, I haven't got the grades in the GCSEs. So now I'm just going to collapse into the background and be unworthy for the rest of my life because, you know, people who, people who got better grades than me are better than me and... I'm just no good and that's it. So definitely these voices can fester in your head and you sh the more you sort of tell yourself these things, the more you be the more believe it becomes your reality. It becomes your pers personal reality. Because yeah, I struggled in school and got a lot of Fs and a couple of Cs. So then the cycle begins, you know. You know, I didn't have enough. I believe I didn't have enough grades to go to, you know, to, to, do, to do A levels, and then so I didn't go to university. And other people around me got, you know, you hear other people going to university and, um, you know, getting degrees and these little voices inside your head, these habitual thoughts say. Oh well, you're not good enough, Ash. You know, look at all these people are doing all all these courses. But now, 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 I've realised that there's so much a plethora of resources we can use, and now I'm starting to learn. In the last couple of years, I'm starting to learn. I'm starting to read books. So I'm basically going back to. Um, you know, a 16 year old because I'm learning I've never I never educated myself, you know yes, I did my accountancy qualifications um, I've done my personal training and fitness instructor qualifications um, but they never really educated on myself never really learned about consciousness and subconscious and unconscious and learned about the mind and body and how meditation can help and what meditation is and just about life and the quantum field and the, the Newtonic, New, Newton field why people do what they do the brain, learn about the brain and yeah I've learned that about myself through journaling 
reflecting, um, investing myself through coaching. So, yeah, I, I got that. Unfortunately, I had that moment. But yes, you can sort of think that only the educated can be, only the free can be educated. You have to have a certain amount of, you know, you have to have a certain amount of things to do it. But it's all there. Thousands of thousands of books available. And the Daily Stoic is one of them. And yes, we, um, We'll continue our month of perceptions this month uh, in January. And yeah, that's the thought for today. It's um, maybe when you're getting distracted, when you've been distracted, doing something that, you know, it's not going to, it's not going to move you forward. It's not going to get closer to freedom it's sort of turning that TV off moving your phone away grab a book off Amazon on self help just search for self help on Amazon just thousands will come up search for stoics search for philosophy whatever, whatever self help you want whatever you want to learn about yourself if you want to learn about meditation if you want to learn about if you want to learn a new skill there's literally no excuse even though we want to give excuses there's literally it's all there for you waiting and yes it might be you will get resistance to do it if you've been watching TV and been gambling for years like I was, and that's it's just a, just no, it's just a habit. And question yourself: Is that really you? Is that who you really want to be? Continue to be. And yeah, I'm right behind you, and we're on this journey together. And that's that's it for today. And. I'll upload this now. Yeah. Education is freedom.